Before I show you how to do that, though, let's have a little discussion about what is System Restore. System Restore uses something called System Protection to create and save restore points on your computer at regular intervals and when you make changes to your system such as installing new software, patches, and updates. Those regular intervals are at 12 a.m. every day by default, but of course you can change that using the task scheduler. How does System Restore help me? First of all, it will restore your computer to an earlier time undo system changes without affecting your personal files and allow you to create restore points manually which is why we're here on this video however it won't back up personal files or restore deleted or damaged files let's take a look to create a restore point manually you first have to make sure that system protection is turned on on the drive that you want to restore and to get there, the easiest way is to click on your Start menu. Go ahead and right-click on Computer. Choose Properties. And over here on the left, you will see System Protection. We'll open that, and that's going to give us this window here, which will allow me to set those protections on or off. You'll see that it is off on all of my drives except for my C drive. And that's the one I want. That's my system drive. The rest of these I'm responsible for backing up my personal files elsewhere. And there is a video about that, so if you want to know about backup, go and check those. But this one is on, so that's fine. If I wanted to go ahead and turn it on on one of the other drives, let's pick this one. I will go ahead and set configure and... I'm going to choose Restore System Settings and Previous Versions of Files. Now that's System Files. Remember, we told you that System Restore won't back up personal files. But I don't need that to be backed up. I don't need that System Restore on any other drive besides this one. And then to create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on, I simply click Create. Now, it's going to ask me for a name. And I will call it Restore Point for Training and hit Create. And it's going to go ahead and do this. It'll take a little bit of time, so I'm not going to make you sit here and watch, but I'll be right back. There, that didn't take too long. And the Restore Point was created successfully. Let's close that. Click OK here and close that. And that's how you manually create a Restore Point. Now, if you want to go ahead and learn how to use System Restore to restore your computer to an earlier time, check out my video on that. But for now, thanks, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.